Hello Easy Robot, this is Josh Starnes, and this is the second uh, part of the um, IR Illuminator test. And honestly, I think that those could definitely be a lot brighter if I turned up the uh, juice. But I'm using 30 of these LEDs. In the previous video, you saw that. Hooked up to Easy B, they're all being powered directly from Easy B. 1.5 volts. You can see right there, it's upside down. And we have a QR code on the ceiling. Now, just for fun, I have the uh, fish tank over here. I'm going to hit the manual switch on the controller, turn it off, and I'll turn off the uh, kitchen light. No light, right? All we got to Christmas light is very dark in here. Now, still you see a QR code there, ECB down there, and they're relatively lined up. All right, and now we come over to Easy Builder, and we see it's a very, very bright dot going on right here, and um, it's difficult to see, but top left-hand corner, basically once per second, it is pinging that is reading it. It's not even directly in the grid. It's actually a little bit out, so I could adjust the grid just a little bit. There we go. All right, and uh, again, showing consistently reading it. That is at um, 7 foot 4 inches. Um, I wanted to make the example as extreme as possible because most people have either a seven or eight foot ceiling. Some people have nine. This is a uh, QR code that's three quarters the size of a sheet of paper. You can space these out about one foot apart or less if you wanted to. No more than two or three inches apart so that they'll be able to tell the difference from one QR code to another. And if you kind of set them out in the grid, the robot will be able to, you know, figure out where it is in orientation. But this is a cool test. Um, I just wanted to show it is very dark in here. This is actually a pretty decent camera. So dark, right? All there is is just some Christmas lights, and it's able to, it's able to see this really well. As a matter of fact, it's not even on there flat. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of in the dog chewed the edge of it off, and you know, it's uh, it's actually uh, curved. And this is not a perfect QR code. I just copied and pasted the picture, stretched it in paintbrush, and um, so I know it's not perfect, and it is still able to read it just fine. So I just wanted to show this can definitely be done. Um, the only thing that we don't know yet is if there's a way, I don't know if DJ can do it, or you know, if there's a way we can figure it out, you know, and maybe a, um, the background code, is if it can figure out which orientation, okay? This QR code is. The reason why is as the robot passes under it, okay, it's going to be able to see where it is. Well, it knows that this way is north towards one side of the house. Well, if it sees it this way, then we know this is going to be west, right? And we know this will be south. I'm just kind of making up some examples here because we know it can figure out orientation because only three sides have these large squares on a QR code. Um, it would just be nice if we can access that in um, the camera tool just to show what the angle is. You know, it doesn't even have to be that precise. It could be, I don't know, just uh, maybe 10 degrees, you know, accuracy would even be probably good enough for, you know, easy builder standards. Um, 360 degrees would be really nice for SDK. Um, I would love to put this in as a feature request just to add to the camera control. I know they already got a lot of things to do, but... Uh, I just think this would be a good low-cost um, navigation feature, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. It's midnight here. Definitely time for me to go to bed. My dog is like looking at me like, why are you so stupid? Why is this so interesting? But anyway, uh, again, go visit easyrobot.com. This is Josh Starnes. This is for the Beer Robot Project, but this is also kind of running over into the Jarvis Project as well um, for the QR code uh, land, landmark based navigation. Sorry, I'm a little tired right now. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Hopefully uh, this ends up being the picture that YouTube decides to grab. If we just kind of keep it there for a second. Or maybe it'll be this, I don't know. Probably hopefully this.